be at a really really light trace because I'm going to be working with fragrance oils. The Hello Beautiful fragrance is a little tricky to work with. It always wants to make the soap rice and it's fine. I've been making it for a really long time but um, I know that I need to work with cool oils and allow it to um, just not be at too high of a trace. So I'm going to actually pour half of this now um, into one of my molds. So I'm going to split this into two. Okay, so half of this is going to be pink and half of it's going to be white and or whitish and then I'm going to put it into the other mold and I'll take you with me when I do that. So first we're going to mix in the white. Okay, so we have titanium dioxide in there. Half the fragrance in here. Okay, so I added half of my fragrance. Do this quickly before I get sloppy. And then this one's going to have um, rose clay to create the pink. So I just use a really pretty rose clay. I don't want it to be too dark. Sometimes I'll even add a little bit of titanium dioxide to it. The rose clay gets dark really quickly, so you have to just add a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is see how this got really thick already? It's just from that fragrance. Very annoying. What I do is just an in the pot swirl. So I'm going to pour the pink into this. Reserve the rest for on top. And now I'll take you to the other side. Okay, so we're just going to pour this in. See it got a little thick there at the end, which is not a problem. So I'm just going to scrape this out, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've already smacked down the molds and I'm just going to give it really light swirling on top. This is one of my favorite soaps. It's super popular. Um, again, it can be a little tricky you have to work really quickly and which is kind of hard to do in larger batches with this fragrance but this is hello beautiful and it smells like philosophy's amazing grace um, i originally made it because that was a fragrance that i like to wear so now it's available in a soap and a cream and a perfume so good okay you can see a tiny bit of the rose clay specks 
So when you have clay added, spritzing with alcohol, when you have clay added to a soap, it gives it a nice kind of slick feel. Um, it's just, you know, clay, the clay is good for your skin. So this is loaded with goat milk, which also makes the trace come faster. It makes the soap really want to thicken up. But I think it did actually pretty well today. I'm happy with it. So you can see that this is the Hello Beautiful, and I always put a sprinkle of glitter on the top of this. And then you can also see over here, we have the Sensitive Soul. So if you have sensitive skin or know someone who does, that's a great soap to try. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll be back for the cutting. Hi, everyone. We are back to cut the Hello Beautiful Soap slab into some logs and then individual bars. So this is our slab. It's really heavy. We can see a nice little glow. The lighting in here is terrible, but um, it's just a really pretty pastel pink and white swirl. So we're gonna go ahead and get that first log cut. It's our first log. It's easier as you go, obviously, because it's not as heavy. And again, I'm not doing two slaps of this today since I turned half of the batch into a sensitive sole soap. Top is perfect. There's the inside. One more. Okay, so now we're ready to cut them into individuals. And I won't share the sensitive sole cutting today. Um, it's just a very plain goat milk soap, so quite as fun to watch. All right, individual cutter is ready to go. We'll start with this one. And I want to take a little bit off the end so that I can have samples. I'm out of samples of this, so we're going to do that. Here's the inside of that bar. And again, Hello Beautiful smells like, um, if you're familiar with philosophies, Amazing Grace, that's what it smells like. I think it's pretty close. That has a pretty pattern right there. how soft the soap is. Soft smell and a soft look and a soft feel due to all the goat's milk and kale and clay. And then that will be my sample bar. Perfect and very pretty. It's very feminine without being too floral. This is um, a scent that I like to wear actually. That one's really pretty. It has a lot of pink. After I cut this, I need to pack and ship, really getting everything um, out. As in as timely a fashion as I can for Easter, because there are a lot of Easter boxes going out. Um, I also shipped yesterday an order from my Etsy shop, a box, and it was one of my energy boxes. 
to some of its stitch fix in their customer care department. So I'm kind of excited about that. I want to see what they're going to do with it. I think they do a lot of the same thing I do is uh, make sure they're recognizing their customers in that, you know, when they're going through any kind of a struggle or difficult period of their lives, um, you know, people tend to tell them their stories as their box needs change. Um, and then they, they really take care of their customers, and I like that about them. It's a good company. Okay, so you know what? Um, I'm going to actually show you just a little bit of what the Sensitive Soul Bar looks like. All right, so again, this is the plain goat milk soap. You can see the gel phase in there a little bit. Um, I'm cutting this somewhat earlier than I typically do, but this is a really heavy in olive oil soap and heavy in goat milk, um, and it doesn't have any fragrance. It's just really the perfect soap for, um, if you have sensitive skin, you can use it from head to toe, and I actually use this one daily. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean off my individual cutter and then cut this into bars, and that will be the end of our Hello Beautiful cutting today. Thanks for joining me.